Yo, what's up guys, Alexa here, and today we will be making this Amtrak SDP40PF or something like that. It was requested by a guy on one of my videos, so here it is. Let's get into the video. So, first what we'll do, is you'll place down any block on the rail right here, make it like that. And let's put, place sprucewood stairs on them like that, upside down. And break those blocks there and place upside down stairs there again. Alright. Then you'll skip one block, place two more of them right there, and make the wheels again. Just like that. Then one more time you'll do that. Just like this. Alrighty. So then next what we'll do is we'll grab some hoppers and you want to make them facing inwards towards, towards the wheels so they're like that. So just do that. Just like this. So it's like that. But then right here you want to break these right here. And you want to place a cement stair right here like this. Place two of them like this. Those are steps to get up into the train, like that. Alrighty. Then we'll grab some nether brick slabs and place them in between each hopper, like this. And right here, you want to place them on the wheels, like that. Alrighty. So hopefully you got it looking like this. Alright. So that's what we'll do. So we'll just do this front part right here. So first, you want to grab some black concrete and place a 1x3 of them right there like that then grab a dark oak fence gate and place them like this facing inwards so it's like that just like that then you'll grab some spruce wood slabs and some twerp bar hooks and we'll make the couplers for it right here so it's like that and then what we'll do again is we will grab some um, acacia slabs and place how's it go place a 1x3 of acacia wood like there we have them sticking out like that they get upside down another which there and place it right there just like that like that then get a uh, light gray carpet and place them like this but not right there only right here Alright, so now we'll grab some gray concrete and we we'll want to fill in this area three blocks wide. So just do that real quick. Oops. Just like that. Alrighty. So now we'll grab some acacia wood slabs and we'll place four of them right here. So one, two, three four like that same on this side one two three four then we'll grab some stone slabs and place two like this and then place two more right here just like that alrighty so next we'll be making the gas tank so what you want to do is you'll grab some gray concrete and all you want to place them on the rail and you want to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that. Do it on this side too. So it's like that. Then you'll grab another bit stairs and place them upside down along the blocks right there. So just go all the way down like that. Just like this. Then you'll grab some nether rich slabs. You'll you want to place two of them right there, like this. Then you'll place one, two, three, four, five blocks of the nether rich stairs, and then three blocks of nether rich slab right there. And do the same on this side. So it's like this. And then you'll just fill that in with gray concrete too, just like this. There we go. So 
that's the gas tank, and then we'll just we'll just make the trucks on this side again. All right. <clears throat> so you'll grab some netherbird slabs, place two of them right there, just like that. And then you'll grab a summit stair and place one right here, so it's like that. And then one on the side too, so it's like that. Then fill that in with gray concrete. Like that. And then you'll make the wheels once again. So I'll just do that. Skip a block, place whatever block you want, and make the stairs. Just like this. Alrighty. Then place the hoppers facing inwards on them. Then another bit slabs in between them. Alrighty. Then you'll fill that in with gray concrete three blocks wide, just like that. And there we go. And then you'll grab some stone slabs and place them all along this right here till the end. So it's like that. And do it on this side. Like that. Alrighty. So now we're almost done with the frame. We just have to make this back part right here. So what we'll do with that is we'll get some nether stairs. Place two upside down ones of them right there. And also on this side like that. And then you'll grab some gray concrete and place a 1x3 right there. And then make your couplers again right there. With the triple R hooks around the spruce wood slab. And then you'll grab some stone slabs, place them like this right here, and have them make it so it's like a 1x5 right here, so just like this. And then you'll grab some lighter carpet and place it on top of the nether brick stairs, so it's like that. Alrighty. So that's it for the frame right there, and we'll be working on the body now. So let's get started on that. Firstly, what we'll do is we'll grab some red concrete and place it right here. And you want to go three blocks up with it right there. Then grab red stained glass paint and place it like this along it. Just like that. And then place a 2x2 two two of red concrete right here. Just like that. And then you want to grab some black concrete place one right here and one right there and then you want to go back make another two by two with the red concrete right here like that and then you'll grab some another another brick stairs and place two right here and two right here like that and then you'll fill in where the stairs are with black concrete like this just like that that's the nose of the train. All right. So now we'll make the windshield. So what we'll do is we'll grab some black stained glass. You want to place it two blocks up like that right there, and have it so it's like this. So it looks like that. Then place black concrete in between it, just like so. All right. So then next you'll grab a red banner. Or no, actually, hold on. You want to grab a crafting table a red banner and some ink sacks so place down your crafting table and then you want to place a red banner at the very bottom just like that then place the ink so it's like this so it's just like that then have it place it right there just like that alrighty so then we will get some some uh, light gray wool, and we'll we'll just we want to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, no. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. Also do it on this side. And make it two bots up like this. Two bots high. And then right here, you want to grab some black concrete, place a 1x3 of it right there, and have one sticking up like that. Just like this. Then I'll grab some black stained glass panes and place them right there. So they're like that. And then you'll grab some Nudbert stairs and place them on top of the cab like that. Just like this. Then fill that in with black concrete. But then right here, you want to have one black concrete sticking out and then grab some white stained glass panes and place them like this. So basically they look like that. Already, so then that's what we'll do is we're going to grab an iron door and place it right here and right here, like that. Place another, another brick stair on top of it, just like that, and then have it hanging off one like this. Then fill that in with black concrete, like that. Then you'll place one block of light gray wool right here, then black concrete. So it looks like this. <laughs> Alrighty. So then you'll grab some light gray wool, go to the end of this right here. Then you'll grab some bedrock, and you want to place three, uh, one by three of them right here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then grab some dark oak wood stairs and place three of them on top of the bedrock right here just like that then you'll fill that in with black concrete on the roof just like that alrighty and then you'll place black concrete right there and nether stairs right there alright so now what we'll do is we'll grab our light gray wall again and you want to go down one two three four five like that on the bottom go one two three four five so it's like that then you'll grab some cyan concrete and place them place it on top of the wool like this and have it go like that then grab red wool and place it right there like this so it looks like this and place cyan concrete on top of this red wool right here. Then we'll place light gray wool right there. And then red wool on it like that. Alrighty. And that's the Amtrak logo that they have on the side of all the locomotive. So yeah. Oh, and then you want to fill this in right here with light gray wool. Just like that. And then place black concrete right here. Then another brick stairs on top, then fill it in with black concrete. Alrighty. So then we'll grab our black our our concrete once again and we'll place four of them right here, just like that. And then place oak wood, dark oak wood stairs on top of them like that. And then fill it in with black concrete once again. Just like that. And then you'll place black concrete right there. And then another brick stair on top. Just like that. Then you'll grab some more bedrock and you'll go down one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Then do it right here also. And then put dark oak wood stairs on top of them. Like that, and then fill it in with black concrete. Just like that. Alright. Then you'll grab some light gray wool, and then you want to go all the way down till the end almost. 
want to go where the stone slabs end right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just like that. Then you'll get an iron door and place it right there. And then right there also. Then you'll grab some black concrete and you'll place one, two, three of them like that. And then grab some light gray wool and place them on top. And then do that on this side too. And then start this uh, black concrete right here. That's the Amtrak logo. Just like that. So yeah. Then once again grab your light gray wool. Make a 2x2 two two right here. Just like this. Then you'll grab your cyan concrete once again. Place a 1x2 of them right here. And then place bedrock on top of them. Just like this. Then grab black concrete and place it till the end right here. <clears throat> and then fill this in with light gray wool. <clears throat> Alright. So then we'll just finish off the roof right here. There we go. Alright. So now we'll do this back part right here. So you want to place the, but the light gray wool up like that. And black concrete right here. And then you'll grab some light gray stained glass paint and place it up like this. Then grab light gray wool, place two right there. Then grab a black stained glass paint or black stained glass and place it right there. Then two more blocks of black concrete right there like that. And then we'll place one wool right there and then a birch fence gate for the light so it looks like that all right so now we are almost done with this locomotive we'll just have to do the roof the banners and the handrails that are on the back right here so we'll go ahead and do the handrails right here so what you want to do is grab some iron bars grab place two of them like this So they're like that, and place two like that, and like that, and that's the handlebars on the back. So yeah. And now we will grab a dark oak fence gate and place it right there for the horn on the train. Then next we will grab a wooden skeleton skull and you want to place one right there in the middle. So it looks like that. Alright. Then right here where this bedrock is, you want to make a 2x3 of another brick slab like that. And then skip a block and make another 2x3. And then what we'll do right here is we'll skip a block, place a 1x2 of another brick slab. Then skip a block, place one, skip a block, place one, just like this. And so there should be five of the fans, just like that. Alright. So then we'll grab a wither skeleton skull once again and place four of them like this. Make sure they're straight too. So yeah. Alrighty, now the final step for this train is to make the banners. We will be making these banners right here. So yeah. First we'll be making these right here. So you'll grab a light gray banner and some ink sacks and also some rose red dye and grab a red banner some bone meal and yeah alrighty so I'm making these black ones right here so grab your crafting table place it down so you want to you'll want to place your light gray banner in the middle right here like that and then make your ink sack like that so it looks like that and then do the same thing but it's the opposite so it's like that so they look like this like that then basically you want to do the same thing but it's in rose red dye 
So let's just do it like that. And there we go. So there's those, and then we'll be making this one right here. This is for the little headlight right, right there. All right, so you'll grab your red banner, place it in the middle, or place it at the bottom like that, and place bone meal so it looks like that. Then you'll have rose red dye going on the side like this, on both sides, then make it so it's like that. So there we go. That's those banners. So you want to grab the red ones, place this one right there, then the other one on this side. Then grab <coughs> then grab the black ones and place them right there. Just like that. And then we want to grab an item frame and some white stained glass. So I'm going to place the item frame and the glass inside it right there. And then place this banner right here for the double headlight so it's like that. Alright. So now you are done with this train. You have successfully built an Amtrak locomotive. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you do enjoy my videos, be sure to give it a like. If you enjoy my tutorials, be sure to do subscribe. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!